Hi there Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Rumpus Room. And I check in with you every now and then because I've got so many recipes and crafts and I'd like to tell you about behind the scenes things and that I read your comments too and I, I like to hear how you change out my recipes too because uh, it's kind of like the telephone game. You uh, give them to your family and they change it too and there's all sorts of spices and different ingredients and I know I've been saying it a lot this year uh, how you can make it your own um, because I do like to hear how you make it your own. So leave a comment about that. Well, Trailer Park Rumpus Room is my way to reach out to you and answer your questions along the way. Uh, yesterday we actually did a soup and it was actually a minestrone soup. It was uh, Italian theme and actually uh, spicy uh, with Italian flavors. Uh, but you could change out anything that you want in there and make it any kind of flavor. Um, and this actually used a white bean and you can do any sort of kind of bean that you like, a kidney bean or uh, we used a California blend vegetable in it too and that actually was very tasty and the vegetable broth it just threw together in an instant up on the stove top and it was something that's going to definitely make you a star on a, a night that everyone's running around and it's great with some crusty bread or some crackers. The day before that, we actually did a onion ring casserole. This casserole is definitely indulgent. Um, I know that you all are interested in the fried, deep fried onions that come in the can and we use those on casseroles all the time. But we actually put onion rings right up on a casserole and it actually had a hash brown mixture and also a ground beef mixture and vegetable mixture. Well, the vegetables were in there for uh, good sake. Um, so we could say that there was vegetables in it, but it was a little bit of everything for everyone and it had cheese melted down over the top of the onion rings and it would certainly look great on a buffet table and it was definitely good with that beer battered onion ring right up on top and definitely something you should give a try and especially change out some things with the vegetables. Um, right before that we actually did a, a, a great recipe for a brunch or a breakfast. It was a biscuit and sausage bake and we used blueberries. Now you can use cranberries uh, but it baked up all nice and pretty and it, uh, we kind of pinned up some of those brown and serve uh, sausages that I know I grew up on them um, microwaved um, but they were good and uh, actually uh, we pinned them up kind of like hot dogs. I grew up on those too uh, but it poured maple syrup all over it and you could probably put some sort of other topping on it. Uh, but this was just a great uh, thing that you could whip together on a morning somebody uh, would stay over. And it was so pretty. Um, before that we did, oh, we did something for vegetarians and it was a lentil loaf. Now every place has its own meat substitute. Now this smelled really good and it didn't really taste like a meat substitute. It tasted very hearty with the lentils. Um, and the onions and it was very spicy too um, but I would eat it I would eat it for dinner one night so you should try it don't be afraid of vegetarian things every now and then it was something that you should give a try and it's so pretty you could put some sauce on it and surprise um, here we go everyone's having it um, vegetarians over you're gonna have it too um, but you should give it a try um, that was a vegetarian lentil loaf um, with that and then before that was something good with ground beef. I don't know who's pricing the ground beef lately. You need to lay it down with the sticker. I don't with the pricing. I don't know. Uh, so expensive. I don't know golden cows. Um, but it was kind of we used cottage cheese. I know that people don't really like 
cottage cheese all that something I love cottage cheese um, but it's a great cheese to bake with um, and it was so creamy and nice uh, with the tomato hint of tomato and the egg noodles and it was so creamy it was a nice casserole that you should really give a try cheese on top and it was just very home style um, it was a sour cream noodle bake um, with that and then right before that especially since it's time's running out um, you can make your own gifts I did a sugar scrub and we scented it um, I used some vanilla scent um, and it smelled so nice and you use that Add the sink a little while and then rinse off. Um, so easy to make with just some coconut oil and some scent and it. Oh wow, this you pay thirty, fifty, hundred dollar for a jar of this, especially with those people in the mall that are just like, oh wow, come try this. Come to, go away. I don't want to see. To, no, no, I don't want that at all. It's a sugar scrub. Um, you should try that. Yet. Um, it's great, great gifts. Um, I certainly do love spending the holidays with you. I've got a calendar that you can follow along. I know I see all your messages. Uh, Trailer Park Christmas is not pre-filmed. I'm still running around going to the grocery store trying to find things. Sometimes things are out. I don't know. Been having to make substitutions just like you would have to do in your own trailer. Um, it's all an adventure with you. I love spending the holidays with you with Trailer Park Christmas. Love seeing all your letters and comments and um, follow me all over the place. And um, I've got a recipe every day or a craft or a chat. I've got, um, uh, oh, it's a special craft tomorrow. Download the free calendar at TrailerParkChristmas.com. I will see you tomorrow. Merry Trailer Park Christmas. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride in the double wide.